a lot of students are really eager to know what's the cutoff score. Now, the TS scores are often um, put into these four categories. Basic, that's the lowest, right? And then proficient, advanced, and exemplary. The higher score is, the better, right? Because that will make you more competitive. But, you know, a lot of factors may be in play. For instance, how many students are applying and how each of them does with the test, right? If there are a lot of students are applying and everybody does really, really good. So for that year, the score that will get you into the program might be a lot higher than the minimum score required. Okay, so there are other factors that are in play, something that you can't really control. So this comes down to, again, what just said, the higher your score is, the better chance that you will get into a program. You can't control how many students are applying. You can't control how other people do, right? So the only thing that you can control is yourself. You work hard, you study hard, and you get a better score. For pretty much all the schools, there is a minimum requirement. There is a passing score. If you're below that minimum, you can't get in. If you are above that minimum requirement, you have a chance. You have a chance, but then it goes back to here. It depends on what other students do, right? All right, now let's look at the minimum requirement because this is something that you have to be above in order to apply for a particular school. So for Monroe County Community College in Monroe, Michigan, a minimum overall score of 60 is required to apply for the RM program. And then it talks about the point system, which uh, we'll look at in the next video. So it's a 60 for this community college. And for a different community college in Queens, New York, you can see the requirements are different for different programs. If you are doing LPN, the minimum is 50%. If you're doing RN, then it's a higher, it's almost a 60%. Now, if you are doing the pathway program from LPN to RN, it's also higher, the same, almost 60%. So the minimum requirements vary depending on which program you're thinking about doing. Now for Sacramento City College, um, similarly, they have the RN, they have LVN to RN, and also VN programs. And then you can see that the minimum score is 62%. And that's for RN and RN mobility programs. And for VN, there's no minimum score. For Towson University, so this is for your university, and you can see that they assign students, you know, based on the score to different levels, things that we talked about earlier. And the minimum required for admission is a total score as a proficient during the kind of the second tier. And this will be a score of 58.7 or higher. Now, the next sentence, they, specific, they explicitly say that you should aim for higher than the minimum to be competitive for admission. And this is helpful. They, they actually give you the specific scores. Now, what is competitive? They tell you a competitive T-score is 85 to 86%. So you can see how much of these are different, right? If you just meet the minimum, you probably won't get in because this is a very competitive program. In order to be accepted, you should aim for 84, 85 to 86%, right? Which is a pretty high score. And some schools do have minimum content area scores. So for some schools, they may have, you know, 70% for science, 80% for reading. For Towson, they said we do not require minimum content area scores, but it is recommended that you get a proficient score for all areas, right? Reading, English, science, and, and math. So that's something that's worth checking with your school, because if they do have, say, a minimum score for reading, um, 80%, then if you get 70%, you probably won't get in, right? 
So you need to know what the minimum is for all content areas. And then that's, that's what you need to aim for, right? To get above the minimum for all different subjects. Okay, so here's an example for another university, Texas Tech. I, I really like this table that they put on their website because it actually tells you the different levels for different content areas, right? So you can see these are the numbers for um, proficient and then advanced and the highest level. So for Texas Tech, it's similar to Towson, right? Because only these three levels are green. So you need to get a proficient level for all the four content areas. Okay, now uh, for California State University, they have a lot of good data on their website. Um, and you can see here, that's the point cutoff, right? So 70, um, maximum 88 points. So you need to get a score of at least 70 to apply for the program. And they also tell you how many students they admit each semester, right? So in fall 2023, they have 264 applicants and you can see they only take 76. So you can do a little bit math to see what the percentage of admission is. And this is amazing. They actually provide a statistics for this road students. So you can see their average GPA is 3.945. That's really high. And then there's a range. So this is the lowest GPA in that 76 students. And then this is the highest GPA among those 76 students. And then uh, there's also the adjusted GPA, and it's it's just four. That's that's kind of wild, right? If you want to get into California State University, you better study really hard. And they actually have this these statistics for every semester, so you can you know go back to spring 2023, spring fall 2022, and 2021. So there's a lot of data out there, and you can take a comparison and you know figure out and see what the trend is and where you need to be in order to get into their program. Okay, now where to register? Some schools will have you register through their school website, and some schools will have you register through the ATI website, right? We have seen an example previously. Um, the school asks the student to register for TEAS through the ATI website. But a lot of schools have their own system set up on their own website. So there's something you want to read about, you want to research, um, and if you have any questions, check with the school you're applying for. You want to be very, very clear on these logistics so that you don't do something wrong and waste all that money. Okay, take home message. If you forget all what I have said, that's totally fine. I just need you to remember one thing. Before you register for TEAS, Contact the school and then ask all the important information about TEAS and make sure you understand everything correctly. Make sure you know all the important deadline dates. Make sure you know what's the minimum score. Um, double check with the school. I hope this is helpful to you. Um, I understand there's a lot of research to do just around registering for TEAS. But I think this is a, a good experience for you because life is not always easy, not always straightforward, right? There's just a lot of things that you need to figure out. All right, guys, if you think this is helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel, um, give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment if you want, especially if you think the video has some good information and helps you in any way. Um, feel free to share the video as well.